A secret document was written in 1979 called Silent Weapon for Quiet Wars. It was found in 1986 by an employee of, of Boeing Aircraft when they purchased a surplus IBM copier. It was a roadmap to controlling populations, but moreover, slavery and genocide of populations. The document viewed people as ignorant animals, but ironically feared them from being educated. They were called, quote-unquote, stakes on the table by choice and consent. You can almost hear the psychopath trying to justify his actions by saying that, that we are meat on the table by our choice and consent. Another key insight from that is that we are slaves by choice and consent, and all it takes is us becoming educated as a way out of this debt and death paradigm. The plan was based off of a 1948 Harvard Economic Research Project. It was put forth by an international elite against humanity in 1954. The main force behind it was the Rockefellers, and it was based off of what the Rothschilds were able to accomplish in the prior century, manipulating economics and politics for power and profit. The main focus of this war was to control the energy, which was the basis of all human activity. They sought to engineer society and the economy, which was totally predictable and able to be manipulated. The first goal was to keep society ignorant of the basic systems and principles. This is why debt and the American Revolution is not really taught in our schools. Number two, it was designed to keep us confused, disorganized, and distracted with matters of no real importance. Diversion was the primary strategy. Experience has proven that the simplest method of securing a silent weapon and gaining control of the public is to keep the public undisciplined and ignorant of the basic systems of principles on one hand, while keeping them confused, disorganized, and distracted with matters of no real importance on the other hand. This is achieved by disengaging their minds, sabotaging their mental activities, providing a low-quality program of public education in mathematics, logic, system design, and economics, and discouraging technical creativity, engaging their emotions, increasing their self-indulgence and their indulgence in the emotional and physical activities by, by unrelenting emotional attacks, this would be like mental or emotional rape, by way of a constant barrage of sex, violence, and wars in the media, especially the TV and the newspapers. Also, by giving them what they desire in excess, junk food for thought, or depriving them of what they really need. Rewriting history and the law and subjecting the public to the deviant creation, thus being able to shift their thinking from personal needs to highly fabricated outside priorities. So you can see how there is a great deal amount of effort in the fear-mongering that people do. There are a lot of people in the truth movement that would have you worried about things beyond your control instead of becoming personally empowered. This is a form of control to keep you away from the answers. This is a psychopathic way of inflicting their perverted and controlling worldview onto the rest of the world. It goes on to say, These preclude their interest in discovery of the silent weapons and social automation technology. The general rule is, is that there is profit in confusion. The more confusion, the more profit. Therefore, the best approach is to create problems and then offer solution. And remember, we've gone through the problem-reaction-solution of the Hegelian dialectic. So here is the 32-step sequence as they see it in order to control societies. Number one, allocate opportunities. So when you have insiders inside the deal, the rich guys get bailed out and the rest of us get screwed. Then number two, destroy opportunities. So anybody who doesn't go along with them, you limit the amount of opportunities they have. And this could be through taxation, uh, through regulation, through selective enforcement of, of rules, the idea is to suck the wealth up to those that are inside this parasitic system and make it economically impossible for the everybody else. Number three, control the economic environment. And we see this already with the central banks and the treasury and all the manipulation, the high frequency trading that they, they've created this completely illusional bubble world where there is no reality. You're, you're betting an illusion upon a riddle, upon a hologram. I mean, it's it's there's no reality behind it. Uh, then control the availability of raw materials. This is why uh, controlling the oil market with the petrodollar is so important and why we're going off to war with Iran, the suppression of gold and silver on the international markets. Number five, control capital. You know, they, the Western Anglo-American empire has been controlling the capital forever. And I mean, just look at the LIBOR rates with the manipulation that's going on there. Number six, control bank rates. Same thing with the LIBOR scandal. Number seven, control the inflation of the currency. And what they really mean is 
control the inflation expectation of the currency. The inflation is rampant. It has to happen. They must print more money every year in excess of the debt and interest accrued the year before or the currency falls apart in a massive uh, mother of all margin calls. But what is important is that they control the expectation of inflation so that they keep the uh, velocity of money low and that people hoard on to these dollars thinking that they're going to be worth more or that they need it. Number eight, control the possession of property. We've seen this already with the, uh, the, the housing bubble and the regulations and the bailouts and all that other stuff that owning property is a way for people to become independent of the system. So they, they're trying to limit it without us revolting. Uh, they don't want the serfs to revolt against it. Uh, number nine, control the industrial capacity. Uh, number 10, control the manufacturing. Number 11, control the availability of goods. Again, the commodities, knowing that that's reality that could possibly upset and will ultimately upset their illusionary paper fiat world. Number 12, control the prices of commodities. Again, you're starting to see this is very important. This is why in the silver bullet and silver shield it really cuts to the core of what's what would bring down the system. Number 13, control services and labor force. That's why the labor unions are you know, so prevalent in inside this. Number 14, control payments of, to government officials. Number 15, control legal functions. It's a rigged game. You know, I try to tell people stay away from, uh, you know, all these legal things. You see like the, uh, the sovereign man movement trying to, uh, you know, become free by working within the legal system. There, it's a rigged game. You're, you're asking uh, psychopaths to play by the rules and it's never going to happen. The best thing to do is walk away from the system. Number 16, controls of personal data files. This is why, you know, Facebook and Google and all this information has been compiled uh, ultimately, it's going to be used against us as we become more and more used to this kind of intrusion into our personal life. Number 17, control advertising. Again, that's theme that's pumped through society about consumerism and debt and you know instant gratification. Number 18, control media contact. That's why there's uh, internet is where you get all the truth and you'll never read anything about this in the major media. Number 19, control the materials available to the TV viewing. You know, this is why that there's so many cop shows, firemen shows, lawyer shows, uh, military shows, all these collectivists, goodwilling people, fools people into thinking that working within the system that they can fix it somehow and it's a complete waste of time. We need to walk away from the system. Uh, disengage the attention from real issues. This is why American Idol and, you know, Super Bowl and all these March Madness things to get so much precedence and, and Anna Nicole Smith and Michael Jackson uh, are, are, are real issues. Meanwhile, the, the debt keeps going up, the wars keep going on, the loss of liberties, the job shipped overseas, this is, uh, you know, receives very little attention. Um, engages emotions. They don't want logical thinkers. Logic is a, is a threat to them. Uh, when people are able to override their emotions and get to logic, they're no longer being able to be controlled. But if you're controlled by emotions on hot button issues, this is why you know, abortion and gays in the military and prayer in school, they, they, these aren't issues of any real importance. They want you to get an emotional uh, issue out of it. Uh, not to, uh, they don't care who wins either side. It's just the fact that they don't get to the core of the problem, the, the central banking, the fractional reserve, the unlimited amount of debt, the wars, the, the corporate powers, the, the privately owned central banks. Those are the things that matter to us the most. Uh, number 22, create disorder, chaos, and insanity. Uh, there's order out of chaos that they, they thrive on. When people's lives are upset, they're more susceptible to emotional reactions. Number 23, uh, controls the design of more probing tax forms. This is where Obamacare comes in. You know, now that the government can force you to uh, buy insurance and now we're, we're going to find out more through your taxes and make it more compelling and, and have more control over you. Number 24, control surveillance. Number 25, control the storage of information. This is where companies like Google and Facebook, which I think are really just CIA fronts for InQtel, are harvesting information and you're volunteering it. And that's why we need to stay out of their uh, system. Number 26, develop psychological analysis and profiles for individuals. This becomes very easy when you start uh, learning more about these people, where they're spending their time, who they're friends with, uh, what their passions are, what their ideal, uh, ideological bents on. And this also makes for more targeted advertising and manipulation of these people when you know you know what motivates them. Number 27, control the legal functions. This is a repeat of number 15. Number 28, control the sociological fun factors. Number 29, control the health options. 
Uh, this is where Obamacare starts coming in. Number 30, prey on the weakness. Number 31, cripple strengths. And number 32, leech wealth and substance. And that's what they are all about. And this is, if you wonder why our economy is in a mess, look at this. So then they had this list of things to do to get this. So this is like the problem, reaction, solution. And they wrote it out. So they said uh, to keep the public ignorant, they need less public organization. They don't want people talking together. They don't want them uh, rallying around things. Uh, maintain access to control to get required reaction of, to outputs with prices and points of feedback for sales. Create preoccupation in order to lower the defenses of the people. Attack the family unit. And again, this is all written studies to, to design to destroy and control society. So they want to, to attack the family unit to control the education of the young. If mom and dad are too busy working, they have to send their uh, kids to uh, public school because they can't even afford the private school. Um, this is, enables them to indoctrinate these children into collectivist uh, mind and rely upon the system. Give less cash and more credit. This way, they're, they're more self-indulgence, and there's also more data. The, all these credit card purchases are recorded, and they know what you're buying and what you're spending your money on, uh, whereas cash purchases are more private. Attack the privacy in order to destroy the faith in this sort of church of government. Minimize the tax protest, and that's to get the maximum economic data and the minimum amount of enforcement problems. There's the quote from Alexander Haig, let them march all they want so long as they pay their taxes. When we start walking away from the system and disengaging our, our wealth out of the system, that is the Achilles heel to this. And then finally, you know, I, I think at the end of this, they talk about collapse the currency. They want that because that provides uh, disorganization and, and, humanity and, and then uh, to destroy the faith of the American people in each other because it's the social contract that will be broken. They're actively working towards this because they're going to give the problem reaction solution. They already figured out what the, what the solution is, and I have a feeling it's going to be a gold standard. And so many of these precious metal advocates that are talking about the gold standard now uh, are merely setting themselves up to be the next oligarchs, and they are not to be trusted. We need competition and currency. The end goal is that there's profit and confusion. The more confusion, the more profit. This allows them to create problems, then offer a predetermined solution during the confusion. This is kind of like front-running trades, uh, only on a so massive social scale. So the, the four major institutions designed to control society is the media, so this is to keep the adult public attention diverted away from real social issues and captivated by matters of no real importance. Then there's the schools to keep the young people ignorant of what real mathematics, real economics, real law, and real history is like. Then there's the entertainment, keep the public entertained and below a sixth grade level. That's why so few people actually have even the comprehension of what we're talking about and what is needed to uh, become free. And, you know, if you think of how you were at 12 years old, you know, you had no way of being able to take care of yourself. And that's what we've uh, bred in the society. And then, um, then there's the work. You want to keep the public busy, busy, busy with no time to think. Um, meanwhile, back on the farm with the other animals. And this also helps to destroy the family unit keep us busy, keep us, uh, you know, our mind off the ball and in the rat race. And that's exactly what they want.